Hey. Welcome to The Sound, the sound of, of That, that. <laughs> with me, Lindsay. And me, George. Today we've got a guest on called Edith. Um, she's a singer-songwriter. She does pop music and... and how, do we, how do we meet Edith? I think we, you met Edith first, right? Yeah, I filmed her for a session for Laid Bear. Um, and then did a music video for her mm, and I helped you, out. you came and assisted. Mm -hmm. and, and we just thought she was, her songs were really good and yeah, just really hard worker, does it all herself, made the whole video happen herself and just like a lot of, just really good spirit I thought. So really impressive and she's only 18 I think or 19. So. Yeah, yeah definitely. So mm. we were really excited to get her in and have a chat to her. Mm. and For the first one? Yeah, for the very for, for our very first guest mm -hmm. for this, um, which we don't know why we've given ourselves more work to do. <laughs> I know it's just like another thing, but we are locked down, so why not interview some people that yeah. we really like? Why not? Mm -hmm. And um, be inspired by other people's creativity, which is nice. And it's always nice to just get to get to know someone and like mm. why they chat, write their songs, chat to people why they sound the way they do because you only really if you listen to a song it's just three minutes but there's a huge story behind why it sounds like that that's we probably we probably barely scratch the surface of that but i find it really interesting mm -hmm. like because for me my sound has changed so much and and just the the reason it sounds the way it does is it's like a whole there's a whole story behind it so we're going to provide you with that of, of some people that we really like yeah, and I'm going to be asking like the emotional questions <laughs> and then you're going to be asking the technical questions because mm. obviously I am not musically gifted in any way. And mm. neither am I, but I'm, I have an interest in it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Around. And before we start, if you can like and subscribe. Please do. Uh, you know all that good stuff because it, re it really helps. And we got some great more, great more ones. <laughs> more great interviews coming. Yeah, lined up. Absolutely. and I'm here today to do a little concert <laughs> and an interview. <laughs> Love it. Is, is this the first time you've done a, an interview like this? Online uh, interview? Yeah. yeah, it is. Is it? This is our first one, by the way. Yeah, you're oh, really? Good. Yeah, this, this is the first one. We have a, a list of people, but you are the first one. Yeah, you're um, the first guest. Which is pretty special. Like <laughs> um, so we were reading up about you today and... Um, it was saying that you started music when you were 10, or you came over to the UK, didn't you? And then From you started Romania. writing in school. Was it when you were 10? No, it was when I was 12, because that's when I got my first guitar and I cried for a week because I wasn't able to play it. Why weren't and you I'm able gonna, to play it? I'm looking at videos of people playing guitar and I was like, why can I not play the guitar like that? And I was crying on the bed, like, I was like, I can't play it. Like, it actually takes time to learn guitar. And I was so stubborn. I was like, oh, I want to play it now. But then I did play in like two weeks, so. Oh my gosh. That, so that was only like a few hours when you were upset, but within a few days, you nailed yeah, it. Yeah, I was literally like, I can't do it, mum. I can't do it. I can't change chords quickly. And um, what made you want to start playing the guitar? Or like, what made you want to get into music anyway? Um... I always like music to hear, and my mum likes music a lot, so I don't know, it was like, even like when I was at school in Romania, my teacher was always like, you should be a singer, because like we'd do music classes, and like I'd be the only one who could actually sing, so she'd always make me sing, <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, what do you want to do, and I was like, I want to be like going to finance, and she was like, you should be a musician, and I was like, okay, but I, I love music, like that's how I learned English and everything, so mm. like, she's always there. What what did your mum play when you were younger? What kind of what kind of music? Um, a lot of R and B and like everything that was on the charts. 
And I didn't like that kind of music because I was kind of young and I liked Romanian music. So I was like, I don't like this mum. But then I, I remember she played, she was playing this Rihanna song. It was called Unfaithful. Like this is ages ago when yeah, she was yeah. about 17. And I was like, I actually like that song. And then I didn't know what she was called. So like, I'd always be like, can you play that song by that girl? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what she was called. And how do you like have the confidence? Because you're the same as well, because you're a musician. How do you have the confidence to sing on stage have you ever had stage fright or have you always been confident no <laughs> like no i'm not like i did my first summer concert when i was about 14 and i was so scared so scared like i was shaking um and i dropped the pick and i was like oh my god like in the middle of the song and people started clapping and i was like no i'm not done <laughs> so i picked the pick back up and i started singing again but it's like I don't know, I think you just kind of have to imagine that you're alone because if I look at people, I'm like, oh my God, they're actually watching me. And it's like, if you make a mistake, you can't reverse. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like on video, you could just turn it off. Mm. So when you're performing, yeah. do you kind of try and keep your eyes open or, or, or close them or do you look no, at people? No, I, I try or? and look at people because then I feel weird. I'm like, I'm not looking at people, but they're there. So I have to just like look at people. And if yeah. my mum's in the car, I just look at my mum, I'm like, <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I don't think that I would have the confidence to be able to get up on stage. Is, so is that your worst experience then, would you say, like dropping the... Um, the pit. The yeah. <laughs> and it was like the first time as well, so it's the worst possible thing that could happen. I was like, oh my God. And um, my teacher was like, can you introduce yourself? And I was like, no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up there and just sing this song and not introduce myself because I don't, I can't say anything. So how did yeah. you feel like you got more confidence? Was it just more gigging or...? or... Um, I think it was when people were actually like, oh, I like your music, you know, because I feel like if if you're trying to like make people like you that, and then you do a mistake, it's like worse. Do you know what I mean? Like people don't like you and then you make mistakes so and they're going to be like, oh, but I like her anyway. It's, it's, it's like when you, you try to like gain new fans and you make a mistake and they're like, who is this? Like, why did she do that? Mm, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and do you do sort of a lot of, when you're doing gigs, do you do a lot of, sort of chatting to the audience and stuff like that is that something that comes naturally yeah like i try to tell people like what the songs are about and like obviously like chat between the songs and mm. yeah like, i want to just go on stage and be like oh this is song number one song number two song like do you know what i mean that's a bit boring but most gigs that i've done were like acoustic just me and the guitar so it's kind of like i feel like if there was a band like i'd be more relaxed because you mm. know like there's more people there's more noise but if it's just you and the guitar any mistake you make they're gonna hear that and it's like oh my God. is that the yeah. only way you've ever kind of performed just alone with with guitar have you never had a yeah. band before no but i think for future gigs i want to have like a, a you know someone with a drum pad so they yeah, can yeah. play yeah but i do love playing like just the piano or guitar because that's how i write my songs and that's how i started it so mm. I, I get that people want to dance and want to like feel the music so i can't really just be there like this is me playing 20 songs on the guitar Hope you don't fall asleep. <laughs> I was going to ask that as well because obviously your sound is like really layered, so it's not really you can't really hear specific instruments in it. It's because mm. it's obviously like a big pop kind of electronic sound, a lot of it. So, so do you write everything first on the guitar or the piano, and then you kind of make an arrangement around it? How's it work? Yeah, yeah, but that's what I like most about it because like when you go to see someone and like they play an acoustic song and it sounds completely different to yeah. what it sounds like on the record that's that's what i want to see i don't want i want to just see someone like with the mic like you know singing to this backing track that's like exactly like on spotify because mm. that for me is like well i can listen to that at home in my bed so mm. yeah i really like it when you go to a gig and then it makes you like fall in love with the album again or fall in love with the artist and then exactly. you like you go back and you re-listen to it Mm. I feel like there's more emotion and understanding when you like play a song acoustically. Like the emotions come, back, come out, and they, then when you when it's on the record, it's like, oh, we can dance this. And then when I play it on piano, people are like, oh my god, like I actually understand the words now. Mm. So, that's um, a lot of your songs seem to be quite like directed directly about like one person or something like that. Do you find that if they heard it, they would know it was about them? Um, maybe, or maybe they'll be like, oh, this is about me and it's not actually. So why not have people guessing, like, is this about me? So, like, if, you, so if you not ask, or does the person, let's say it's about someone, do they know it's about them or have you not spoken about it with them? 
No, no, they no. probably don't know because most of my songs are like, go away. I don't like <laughs> you. So I'm probably not talking to those people anymore. <laughs> but, and even if they heard it, I don't really care. It's like, it's the message behind the song. Like, I'm, like I can't write about someone else's life. So can I expect it? I guess. I feel like we should hear one. Yeah, and then, and then they can keep looking on my Spotify, you know, and be cute. that's how you gain fans because they keep true. Like, Did she write another song about me? What did she write? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's um, yeah, let's hear your first song that you've got prepared for us. Then the one that you love. Favorite one. My favorite one that I wrote yes. ever. Oh, the one the the ones that are released because I can't play unreleased. <laughs> okay. okay, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, because there's a lot of unreleased songs that I really love. But, um, God, I really have this point for Brackey Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to play Sad Girls because that's like, that song made it on this playlist. And that's like, I, I just love that song. Like, it's yeah. just so happy and like summary. And mm. yeah. sounds so different than the than the record i love it yeah I know. yeah I love it sounds wicked it really i i can't think what it is it's going to come to me later probably but i can't think who what that song reminds me of but there's there's something that it's really yeah it reminds me of, of something but i love it so what was that song about then what's the meaning behind that one um i think it's basically like when boys think that by making you sad, they're making you weak. They're not really, because I feel like people see being sad or upset as being weak, and it's actually not sometimes. I, I feel like sometimes the person who's sad can hurt the other person more than, you know, the person who's all cool and like, oh, I can do whatever. So it's, it's really about that, like how people think that girls are gonna be sad and like weak, but they're not really, they can hurt you with their sadness, so. <laughs> yeah. They definitely I, can. <laughs> yeah, and I always feel like girls will like definitely feel feel the emotions and they'll get like go through it like if it's a breakup they'll exactly. go through the emotions and be upset but then the boys kind of ignore it until it like hits them later and then that's how the song started like basically i was in my bed and i was making a playlist and it was like 12 at night and i was like what do i name this playlist like it was like kind of sad and i was like sad girls make bad boys cry and then i was like oh my god that's like the title of a song and then the next day i wrote the song because i was like i i have to write this song like there isn't Another song called that, mm. <laughs> like cool title. So, do you, when you're writing songs like like that one, for example, do you write melody first or, or start with the lyrics? Or obviously you had that title. Uh, what happened? Yeah, next? when I had the title, so I was like, I really, you know, even if it's not a title, it'll be in the like lyrics. But usually it's it's probably like I I don't know like I'd be in the car and I'd get like a you know a line or like an idea and I'd be like recording it on my phone and then I'd come home and and write or like I just sit on my piano and write like it, mm. it isn't melody or, or or lyrics first it's always like either mm. I don't it's I don't know <laughs> it's free it's hard 
say, yeah. So yeah. Well, like, like natural, recently yeah. I've started learning how to produce, so I, really? I'm really excited about it because, yeah, because I can make a beat and I'm like, oh my God, I can sing to the beat and it's so cool. Because I feel like sometimes on piano or guitar you kind of like drag it and you're like, oh, this is not what I wanted to sound like. I wanted it to be more poppy. So now that I can make the beat, I don't drag it as much. So I'm like so excited mm. about it. Yeah, because I've heard you doing that more recently i think you always used to do with your guitar yeah and that, but then you, you can never quite imagine what it's going to sound like maybe if, if you're just on the guitar like you're saying whereas with the beat you can kind of see the finish line so it's like yeah. it, is yeah. that what you think as well sometimes you're like oh this is not what i wanted it to sound like yeah. <laughs> and i feel like now that i know how to, i don't know how to produce i literally just know how to make a few bits but like i can ex i can lay out my idea and then Get, hand it over to the producer of and course. then be like do you understand this other than make weird noises and like not being able to explain myself like because sometimes i'm going to the studio and i'll be like i oh, will i hear this da, 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 and they'll be like i don't know what that is and i'm like oh it's like i don't know what it's called do you feel <laughs> like, like you'd want to maybe in the future do more of your own production because obviously you're writing it by yourself which is quite unusual anyway for a lot of yeah kind of pop artists. Love to just i would love to produce and write my own songs i'd yeah. love to to release an album that was like you know written by me produced by me amen every by me <laughs> this is me <laughs> but i do feel like the input of other people is always good because there's more minds so there's more ideas like i'd be there on my own and not hear certain ideas and then someone would be like oh what about this harmony and then i'd be like oh that's really cool mm. but then like it can be distracting because their minds are going to like in a completely different direction and like you're so focused on you know like synth pop and they're they just like drag it to like a different like kind of like do a leap of pop and i'm just like that's not what i was hearing like mm. and like this with i'm starting to record new music and with this new project is that like, i'm really finding my sound like um it, i feel like the first ep was like it was I, I wrote all those songs by myself but i it wasn't really the sound i was looking for and then this new project is closer to the sound that i'm looking for and what i'm working on now is like the sound because um i love synth pop and then i just never really knew how to like express that i was like oh we just make pop and then i was like what about we just make synth pop because i love that mm -hmm. so yeah um, do you think I just want all the songs to sound like a, you know, like a big city, like big drums, and like, mm. you know, the, the, the Jack Antonoff kind of thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Were there any albums that you've heard recently that have had that kind of sound that you've loved? Yeah, Carly Rae Jepsen, her, her album called Emotions, I th it's not recent, it's like 2015, but that yeah. album was produced by him and yeah, it sounds like that. Yeah. It, I, I don't know because not many people make that kind of music. Like there, 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 there have been like three or four people that make that specific kind of music, but then not many make it. Like I think more people make the usual, you know, pop. And I'm, I'm just like I don't, I don't want to make like just pop. I want it to be like mm. you know, it's, mm. <laughs> it's like the 1975 kind of vibe, but it, they're too much mm. for me. Mm. Have yeah. you um, had any trouble? as a young female, <laughs> as a young girl, like, have you had any trouble people, like, people taking you seriously when you could get in the room with the producer or whatever? Do you find uh, that hard? Not really, because I feel like I'm really straightforward. Like, I'm really like, uh, this is my song and this is what I want it to sound like, mm. if you like it. <laughs> no, I'm not mean, but like, yeah. yeah, like, I feel like with my first EP, because it was like the first experience, I didn't really know what I was doing they kind of like, I'd be like, I don't want trumpets in my song. And then they're like, but it sounds good. And I'm like, but I don't want trumpets. That's not like, it's my song. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, it's mine. And that's why it didn't end up sounding like I, you know, like I was hearing it in my head, but it's fine. Like that was, you know, my it's songs that I wrote when I was like 17. So mm. it's like, yeah, definitely. Do you worry about that at all? Going into the music industry as a girl now? Do you, is it something that you think about at all? Not really, because I feel like the more you have it in the back of your head, the more likely it is to happen. Mm. Whereas like, if you don't think about it, you're just kind of like, you know, of, I, I don't know, I haven't experienced it and I, I hope I won't. Mm. So I'm not yeah. scared. I don't, I, I don't think about it all the time. Mm. But I don't ever think about it really, because to me, it's like men and women are the same. I, like, although I know society like doesn't portray it like that but to me i'm like well we're the same and i feel like as long as you believe that 
it's everyone else is going to believe that around you i feel like, like it's a lot to do with like how secure you are within like yourself mm-hmm. if you feel like oh well, they're going to take me seriously because i'm a woman they're probably not because you're like mm-hmm. insecure side mm-hmm. but yeah that's great yeah do you do you feel like a lot of girls your age kind of feel like that now because i think it's a bit different because i think i don't know how many years there is between this maybe like 10 or something but yeah, it maybe there's a lot has changed in like those ten years. Even though I don't feel that much older than you, do you feel yeah. like a lot of girls your age are more empowered than we were? Maybe I feel I feel like they are because like it with like all the social media and all the like love yourself and believe in yourself and but I feel like also there's more social media so there's more pressure on people like oh my god do I look good in this picture what are they gonna say and like I feel like on social media you can never do anything right like if you do the right thing it's still the wrong thing mm-hmm. and and I feel like if you're a girl it's even like worse because it's like oh my god she did this and like why would it's the same with like like a lot of male singers sing about like their money and you know their fame and and if a girl would do it they'd be like oh why is she doing that like mm. we don't need to know that like mm. i feel like that's a bit sexist because obviously why are you treating it differently but i feel like we just have to be confident and not worry about it as much mm. yeah because essentially you've been media trained all your life because social media has been around so you've always yeah. had to think about how you come across online so hopefully yeah. that'll work in your favor as you get older yeah. but i think the biggest lesson is that you can never do something right there, there just isn't on social media there isn't something right that you do it people are always going to find things in the right so yeah you're just going to have to be like yeah. especially the bigger you get it seems like you're going to get more and more yeah criticism <laughs> whatever you do yeah so I, I feel like as long as you're happy with what you're doing then that's fine because people are always going to find something wrong with it so like, you can't please everyone you just can't yeah um which actually brings us on quite nicely to your the second song that you're going to do for us so the one that like you found that maybe you don't like as much or your first or your worst yeah there song we go. That you've written my worst yeah <laughs> i actually was like quite like what song am i going to do for this because i don't like Did you love them all it... <laughs> um i think i'm gonna do not my work like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one of my first EP that just didn't get enough attention, and I I haven't sung this song in like ages, so bear with me. <laughs> so this is called Believe in Love, and actually, like my auntie really liked this song, uh, but not. I, I haven't heard anyone else who said they liked it. But then I, maybe people will like it when more people. I'm hear sure it. we'll <laughs> like it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a jump, standing in the rain, trying to forget that I'll never love again. You were doubting me, and it was fair to see another reality. But you got yourself records, money, good cheese, but you lost all we had in those good memories. Now you're trying so hard to fake it, please. I don't believe in love, I don't believe in love with you You took me all those pieces, you show me all your pieces And I don't believe in love, don't believe in love with you I'm forever your daydream, forever your age And I don't believe in, and I don't believe in I love that I thought that one. was a great song. I love that really? one. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Why don't you like that song? No, it's not that I don't like it. I just... I just Other people. I just know Other what people. To pick. Some people don't. Yeah, I feel, yeah. Like, I feel like though it could have been produced in a different way. So like now I might... Now that I know how to produce, I might, you know, be like, I'm going to play the song. Mm. But I, I love that, that song. You know, and, and it started out like a ballad. It was like, it was a jump. And then I was like, I want to make it pop. And then it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Mm. But I guess I can play on my piano and do just an acoustic version of it. Yeah, I really, I really, really liked it. So what was that one about? What's the story behind that one? I actually forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it must have been about something that happened in June. About <laughs> 
Um, Do you remember who it was about? Yeah, yeah. I know that. <laughs> She's like, I'm not Those are the deep secrets. <laughs> I actually, today I went to the shed and I took out all my diaries and like all my songbooks and I have like hundreds and it's I read through them and I'm like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And I have like letters from boys and like I'm just like, why are these here? But I want to keep them because I want my kids to see them. Like, mum, what is this? <laughs> yeah, keep them. You won't you won't regret it if you keep them. I feel like that's my only thing that just I have, you know, with that the mm. books and like no one else because I know I wrote them. Some of them are so cringy. I'm like, oh my god, I wrote them. Everybody has them. Yeah, yeah I have some from when I was five, and I'm ripping out hair and like sticking it on the um, on in the diary and being like, <laughs> my hair on this day, and it's still in there. And my mom was like, that is gross, and I was like, I know. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not, yeah. Not, not quite that, to that extreme. No, no, maybe not that extreme. Oh, oh trust me, I am to that extreme. I'm like, this today, at 5.30, this happened. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Would you say that songwriting... Oh, I completely forgot my question. I started and then I was like, no, it's gone. Then I'll, I'll pick up because okay. I've got a question. Um, so, so does it... Do you find it quite easy to, to write songs? Because I find it really, really hard sometimes to just finish it or to get it the perfect lyrics or the perfect melodies or do you just whack it out in an hour or how does um, it happen no it, it depends because i can start a song today and then you know end it like in in two weeks but it's not that i'm, I'm working on that song for two weeks it's mm. because like i'm just like oh I'm, i don't know how to finish this today so i'll finish it another day mm. or sometimes it's literally like 15 minutes and i'm just like okay that's really? the song yeah because it, it, i feel like sometimes you just have so much to say and it's so easy to say it's so easy when you have so much to say, like, I don't like you, go away. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. Like, I'm really annoyed right now. I really don't miss you. Go away, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. That like that happened with um, Never Stay Too Long. Like, I wrote that song in 15 minutes. I was like, okay, this is a song. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I just kind of literally, like, I feel like the song is so real because it's literally what I felt. I was like, because the song says, because I don't miss you. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like you wanted me to miss you. And that's literally what was going through my head. I was like, I don't miss you. Like, so yeah. it, it, it depends I, i'd say it depends like i still have this is my song book that i have now and like mm. i still have like, unfinished songs in there but i know that i've just kind of left them and put, popped them to the side because i couldn't finish them in the moment but that doesn't mean i'm not going to finish them um, and with lockdown and everything have you found that that's affected your songwriting in a good or a bad way just being at home all the time um i, I mean there's less inspiration because you're locked in a room mm. and it's like I need to go outside and get some fresh air. But I feel like because I've been locked indoors, I've kind of had to sit on my piano and play and not be distracted by going to the pub with the friends and like, you know, by doing something else. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's pros and cons, but obviously like when I feel like, oh, there's no inspiration, there's nothing to do. I just go outside for a walk mm -hmm. or like for a drive and then I'll be like, okay, now I have inspiration. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you kind of run out. I've been writing so much since I've been indoors. I'm like, there aren't any more people to write about. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, you really need to like live life mm -hmm. to get any yeah. any ideas. So it, it's, it's been tough. How, how have you found it um, just being at home anyway? Are you quite bored now or? Um, I'm quite bored, but I'm, I'm a bit of a loner. Like I do like to see my friends, but I do like to be in my room without anyone, without my mum, like whenever she comes in my room, I'm like, please go away. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love being in my room, like doing, you know, like writing or mm -hmm. watching something on telly. Um, but I do miss seeing my friends. Like I miss going to the pub. Although I didn't go that much. Like, I went like once a week maybe to see my friends. But other than that, I don't really miss it too much. Like for me, it's okay. <laughs> Are you missing performing kind of gigs and that kind of thing? Yeah, I, I miss going to London. That that is one thing that is because I feel like every time I went to London, I just felt so inspired. There's so much you can write about because mm. you see, there's so much happening around you that you're like, oh my god, there's so much inspiration everywhere. Even though it's not happening in your life, like you might be seeing, you know, someone on the street arguing, someone on the street doing something cute, and you're like, oh my god, that's so like I can write about that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, I miss it too. I miss London. Yeah, definitely. Just get just go for a coffee or or go to the pub. Just something exactly. as simple as that. I'd be yeah. coming on the train. I'd be on the train coming back home, and like it's just so nostalgic and inspiring. I'm like writing down like lyrics. Yeah, yeah. But for me, it's when I feel mostly inspired is when it when it's night time and I'm in my bed and I can't sleep and I'm like, 
like writing so much and I'm like where is this even coming from and I'm like I really want to go to bed and that, I'm just like do I go to bed or do I continue writing all these lyrics yeah so, do, you, do you ever get writer's block like a period of time where you just don't write for six months or anything like that or you're always writing I always write and I always write and like I actually have so many books like I have one like this and it's like full of random lyrics you know mm. like if I have an idea it's that and then I'll show you actually on my phone I have my notes like look at this there are so many oh my gosh is that all like, songs that's all that's all ideas, ideas. for songs and like, I'd be like in the car and I'd be like, so basically I need to write some words. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Would you be, if somebody found your songwriting book or like went through all your notes, would would that really stress you out? Or do you think it wouldn't no. matter? No, no, because if I, if I believe that if I'd put it in a song for people to hear, why mm-hmm. would I be? Like they read it, they read it, and then if they'd question me on it, I'd be like, "Well, why did you read it? Don't question it. You can just read it, but don't question." <laughs> so you never, when you're writing songs, never kind of try and hide the meaning. Like some people kind of maybe use metaphors or things like that, or, or you're always trying to be more direct with what you're saying. I love metaphors, so I try to use metaphors, but I wouldn't mm. like try hide the meaning because mm. I feel like that's why you're listening to a song to you know like relate to what this person gone through. So I think the more real the song is the better the song is. Yeah, definitely, it's, I agree. Like that, nowadays, like, so much music out there is so, like, the words are so big, and, like, it's not so personal to the artist that you can listen to it and make up loads of meanings, you know, mm-hmm. for the song. Whereas, like, if you make it more personal, people are going to be like, okay, right, she has a more personal story. Mm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Fab. Um, so... Final question? Yeah, let's finish off with... The final question, which so one? final question is an artist we should be listening to. Love, he's great. I agree. What What do you like about Love? I, I everything. He's just amazing. He, he produces his own music. He's the man. He writes from his heart. Like literally, all of his songs are like he says what he feels, and mm. I love that in an artist. Like yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. You know, say what I what I feel and. I just feel like he's not such a nice person as well in like yeah. the entire campaign that he's doing now with the mental health and I, I just I just love him and I think he actually deserves more recognition than he gets because he's doing everything himself. So And he's independent, he's he's not even really signed to a label, is he? Yeah. Which, is which means he's getting all the money, which he deserves. is good for him. Exactly. Favourite loud track? Julia. Have you heard it? No. Is that the acoustic guitar? What, was that the piano? No, one? it's the piano. It's on his new album. You oh, have yeah. to hear it. And I think it's about Julia Michaels, which is kind of like Ooh. you've literally put her name on the track, which I, I don't think you can get more personal than that. So she's probably like, oh God, why did he do that? Oh, she loves God. it. <laughs> that's so exciting. I know. But that that's why I love it because I feel like it's just so per- Even though I don't obviously have anyone Julia called in my life, I'm just like, oh my God, this song is so personal. So yeah, nice. yeah, he's. He's awesome. I'm always looking at his. Do you ever look at his um How I Made That Song videos yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, it's so many simple, but mm. so amazing. Mm. Do you think it's important for you to like the artist as well as like their music? Yeah, because if they're not, they're, if I don't connect with them and they're not a nice person, I can't listen to their music. Mm. And it's usually if they're not a nice person, they don't make the sort kind of music I want to listen to mm-hmm. because they don't express their emotions that way. So, it, like, I've never really come across an artist that I like their music but I don't like them because it, it kind of I feel like it goes together they're a good person they write this kind of music and then some artists I don't like and I don't like their music either so I just avoid yeah and you can you get so much of someone now isn't it because social, social media, media and yeah. stuff you're so connected to them do you get a lot of messages from fans or anything like that I get a, quite a few messages from people yeah and it, it's really nice because I'm obviously like a no one so it's really nice when someone's like oh I heard your song and it I really love it and and I, I made the dance I, I, I'm doing like a dance to it and I'm like oh my god like people actually heard my song and they like it and I'm like I'm really a no one like it's so you're nice definitely not a no that. one yeah you're definitely not a no one <laughs> <laughs> amazing really. it's been a pleasure yeah thank you so Thanks much, so much. Thank you so Thank you. Yeah, no, <laughs> we're gonna it. we're gonna go check out Julia right now. <laughs> yeah, yes, we have. <laughs> okay, we have well, to. Okay, well, try not to cry. <laughs> I'll do my okay. best. Well, we'll speak to you Thank soon. You yeah, so cheers, Ethan. Have a good one. Bye. Thank Bye. You. How do we?
Leave it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so that was Edith. What do you think? Did you enjoy yeah, yourself? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I loved, I really liked both those songs. Yeah, I don't know why she said that she didn't like the second one. She didn't say she didn't like it. She just said that other, other people, people didn't react mm. to it as much as they reacted mm. to her other songs. I think she's just that talented that she can't write a bad song. Yeah, I think so. She's infuriating. And it's nice to talk to can. talk to someone that's like 18, 19 and stuff mm. and just, I like learning about just where their heads are. Do mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's, how the world is affecting them. She just seems really confident and yeah, just not intimidated by the industry or anything like that and just, just going for it, which is, which is really cool. Yeah, I love that. So definitely mm. check her out. We're going to leave all her links. Absolutely. For you. Um, and Better. our links as well. Of course. Um, thank you so much for joining us for the sound of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always. See you next time. Bye. Bye.